this is s1 discrete random variable this particular topic is going to include first of all what's a random variable random variable then we're going to talk about what is the concept of discrete which is the name of the topic random variable and continuous random variable versus continuous random variable and then we have to talk about how does this all come together and we use the probability distribution distribution table so that's the concept so the first thing that we have to talk about is the concept the very important concept of what is a random variable now when we talk about variable we have been used to the variable in algebra variable is nothing but something a value that varies for example when we talked about a value like 2x plus 3 equals to 5 this is a linear equation where x is the variable so this is a variable which needs to be found that is the unknown value of x that is a variable we can also have two simultaneous equations like 2x plus y equals to 1 3x minus 5y equals to 2 so we have equation 1 and we have equation 2 and this time we have to solve this two simultaneous equations and we have to find the two variables this one is x variable and this one is the y variable so variable is something that is unknown and we need to find it well when we talk about the random variable we don't have to find anything it's not something that needs to be found so it is something a value that changes a value that can have many values but here we don't have to find it so let me define the concept of this variable a value that changes so when a value does not change it's a fixed constant like 3 is a constant here 5 is a constant here but a value that changes that's a variable so the next question is what is random now random is one of the most important concept in the concept of probability random means something that is uncertain you don't know what's going to happen so if you know what's going to happen then it's not random so in probability something which is uh, we don't know what's going to happen we call it uncertain so a random variable is a value that can take on an uncertain value a value that changes now so if you want to write a formal definition for random variable we can say if we can say it out here uh, an uncertain value that changes that changes so it's an uncertain value and the value changes now why does the value change when does the value change well the value can change from certain situation to situation the value can change from time to time the value can change from place to place the value can change for various various reasons so let me let me clear this out here So when we talk about changes, we are talking about a certain situation that can happen when it is changes. So it is changes from time to time, place to place, situation to situation. And person to person. For example, when we are talking about the height of a person, you don't know what the height of the next person coming will be. It is uncertain. So it's a value that can change from person to person. So it can also be a value that changes from situation to situation. For example, when we are talking about amount of rainfall that occurs, it's something that changes from situation to situation, place to place. If you want to know 
uh, the temperature of that place the temperature changes from place to place and it is uncertain where you are going for that thing and time to time there are many things that changes from time to time for example the number of flowers that is blooming in a garden you can consider that it is changing from time to time so the first concept is random variable and random variable is given by a capital letter so usually when we write equations and the unknown variables, they're usually given in small letter X, Y, other alphabets. But here, we usually write X and we write capital letter to write random variables. And when we write a random variable, it is usually defined like this. For example, if you want to know uh, the number of person that will be present. So let's write the definition of a particular random variable so number of students present in class today now that is the definition of one particular random variable but it is going to change from day to day so the first thing you need to know how many students are there in the class altogether so suppose there are 10 students now what can happen what is the least thing that can happen well one thing that can happen is maybe no one would show up today it can have zero and maybe one person will show up or maybe two or three or four and on and on and the maximum that can show up is 10 so each of these values are random variables and they're denoted by the small letter so the definition of the random variable is given by a capital letter and each individual values that the random variable can take place that's called uh, value of the random variable we use a small letter X to denote that so another example can be it can be the amount of uh, soda amount of soda in a drink maybe coca-cola coca-cola okay so it can be usually it is if it's a small bottle it is usually 250 ml but maybe it can be around less than 200 sometimes it can be more more than 250 ml so that can also be uh, denoted by the random variable now if you pay attention here there are two types of random variable one is the discrete random variable which means it can have specific values so it can be counted it is countable meaning it can have specific values can have specific values that's discrete now if you take a look at this particular example number of students present in class today they can have specific values so you can actually count the number of students today there that are present today so that's a discrete random variable and this is an example of a discrete random variable this is discrete random variable right okay but if you take a look at the next example amount of soda in coca-cola it can have 250 ml but it cannot exactly be 250 ml it can be a little bit less or a little bit more because no one it's not possible to actually atom by atom to be exact when you're putting a drink in a bottle so what you have to be you have to it can have any value so it cannot be counted it needs to be measured the amount needs to be measured and we call this continuous measurable measurable it is cannot be counted so it needs to be measured so when we have this example this particular example is a continuous random variable so that's the main difference between a random variable discrete random variable which can be counted and a continuous random variable which cannot be counted now when you have an idea of what a random variable is since we are talking about random uncertain whenever we are talking about certainty and uncertainty we are talking about probability meaning is it probable what is probable that will happen what how probable is it that four students will show up or less than four students will show up or more than four students will show up what is the probability that the coca-cola will have 
more than 250 ml of soda what is the probability it will have less than 250 ml of soda what is the probability it will have more than 300 ml of soda so when you're thinking about that you're talking about uncertainty because you're not certain if you're absolutely certain that the amount of soda in the coca-cola bottle will be this then that's absolutely it's not a random variable but if you're not certain so we are in a situation which is a probabilistic situation so a distribution is actually values so if you remember uh, what a uh, frequency distribution table was it consisted of so it consisted of values like here you have the data so this was the data and you have different data and here you have the frequency so you have numbers like one two three four five and you have different frequencies maybe there are five ones there there are three twos there there is one three so it, it was like that that's called a frequency distribution table now a probability distribution table is what you do is you put instead of the data you put here random variables so you put the random variables here and instead of the frequency you put the probability here so it's a table similar to the frequency distribution table but this time you're not putting the frequency here you're putting the probability so instead of calling it the frequency distribution table we are calling it the probability distribution table so it is extremely important that you understand that a probability distribution table is very similar to a frequency distribution table all it does is instead of the probab frequency it puts the probability now there must be a way of finding the probability there must be a way you calculate probability you know probability is something that is calculated out of hundred so when we consider probability it's expressed as a percentage so when we talk about probability probability is expressed as a percentage so expressed as a percentage of course it can percentage can also be expressed as a decimal because after all per cent means per means divided by cent means hundred so if I say thirty per cent it means thirty per cent thirty divided by hundred which means point three so when we say probability we are talking about probability can be between zero percent and absolutely uncertain and it can be 100% so uncertainty is somewhere around between 0% and 100% when someone is absolutely uncertain that absolutely certain that something is going to it's not going to happen and on the other hand a person is absolutely certain that something is going to occur so that's a probability so if you want to f if you know the probability by using some sort of a formula maybe you have a magic formula for calculating the probability if you will recall that probability is found by whatever you have called the sample space meaning suppose you have 20 marbles so that's your sample space and out of these 20 marbles of variable various colors you have seven red marbles so that is event a particular event out of that sample space so you calculate probability usually given by a capital letter P and you calculate it by event divided by sample space they're just fancy names it just means what you want divided by what you have so that's how we calculate probability so you can calculate probability for any random variable and the way you calculate probability that formula suppose you have a magic formula for calculating probability that formula is called a probability distribution formula or a probability distribution function so if you want to calculate the probability for discrete which can have specific values so we call it probability distribution function so the formula by which you calculate the probability here if you put the probability using a formula that formula would be called a probability distribution function any formula any function that gives you the probability of a distribution if you want to find the probability using some magic formula of 
a continuous random variable since they don't have specific values so we call it a probability density function in both the case the abbreviation is PDF so PDF stands for probability distribution function in case of discrete random variable and it is called a probability density function in case of a continuous random variable in the next lecture I'll give an example of what type of question it's given in the exam regarding a probability distribution table